Today I'll be going to Rotterdam while we're hunting for football shirts. It is today is our king's birthday, which is a national celebration, uh, and usually there are a lot of flea markets all around the country. Uh, I'll be going to Rotterdam because I'm hoping to find some very cool final shirts. I did this last year actually before I had my YouTube channel and the results were pretty good. So I'm hoping to get maybe the same shirts as last year or maybe the same results, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Let's go. So the first purchase has been made. It is a uh, LA Galaxy away shirt, size small, paid three euros for it, which I think is a great deal. There was a bit of damage uh, on the shirt, so, uh, but I think three euros is a fair price for it. And I'll show you guys the shirt when I get home. Let's go on to the next street. So the results so far have been pretty good, but we still have to go to this entire square. So yeah, still very promising to find more items. Then we came across this little football game where you could win a signed Holland national jersey. Did I succeed? Well... Of course not. I think, yeah, this. The next day. I've returned home and that means that I'll show you guys all these shirts that we got in this video. I really enjoyed today. Uh, you know, in big contrast to internet, it was very, very quiet actually. So I could just wander around. It was very nice. It was very lovely. I found a lot of shirts. Um, the weather was amazing, so yeah, I've had a great day, but that's not why you're here, you're here to see these shirts, so I'll show you guys right now. The first shirt that you guys have seen me pick up is this blue uh, LA Galaxy Away shirt from the 2017 and the 2018 shirt. They have this strange competition where they play like an annual season instead of like from June to May. Um, so it's from two years actually. Um, it is an authentic one. As you can see, there is a bit of damage on the uh, Herbalife Nutrition Sponsor. No name or number on the bag. It is a small, um, so I'm pretty sure it won't fit into this uh, very nice MLS patch on the sleeve right here. Um, the woman initially asked five euros for it, but I got it for three. Ah, yes. I know a pretty good deal and um, you could think well you know arguing about two euros is kind of sad I do agree with you but I will show you guys that for two euros you can actually get a lot next up I got myself a very cool tracksuit I don't know if it was clear to see on the recordings um, but I got myself this Napoli uh, this Napoli tracksuit complete with pants and all sorts and I know what you're wondering how does it look on you well there we go um, it fits me quite tight actually it is a small but uh, yeah it's, it's not too small I think how small is supposed to fit the pants are very very nice um, as you can see very very cool on the back we do have the Napoli uh, rock being ridden 
I hope you guys can see it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, overall, I think this is a very, very cool item. I usually do not pick up tracksuits because I'm not very, very into that. But uh, yeah, I, I like it very much. Don't know whether I want to keep it or not because I don't collect tracksuits and it does fit a bit tight because it is a small and I usually wear a medium uh, or maybe a large depending on the manufacturer. It is manufactured by Kappa so they usually fit a bit tighter than like Nike or Adidas but uh, yeah overall pretty cool one paid 10 euros for it which is a fair price for such a great item it's in great condition as well it's 100 authentic i use the site basiclabel.net where you can just search for the serial number and it will give you a definitive answer whether your shirt is authentic or not so it works way better than with nike or adidas or puma so once again basiclabels.net where you want to check whether your kappa item is authentic or not Without any hesitation, let's move on to the next shirt. Up next, we do have a Besiktas shirt. I picked up one in Utrecht as well, and I have another one. It is the 2017-2018 third shirt. Um, very cool one. Love the Vodafone sponsor. It is in quite good condition, the sponsor. The shirt overall, there are no tears or holes or anything like that. And actually, what is very nice, it has been washed. I've actually never seen it on a flea market that people have actually washed their shirts so amazing work by the lady selling these shirts um, on the back we do have the Beko sponsor no name or number and we do have a little ka kalde, kalde sponsor kalde sponsor on the sleeves little nice pattern going on on the sleeves as well which I think is a very very cool addition to this shirt overall nothing special and remember when I told you guys that you could get a lot for two euros? Well, I paid two euros for this one. Let's see, I just purchased this shirt with the money I saved on the other one. So, that two euros seems like a lot, doesn't it? <laughs> Up next we do have another Besiktas shirt and this time it is the 2019-2020 third shirt. Very nice pattern with the little purple dots. There's actually a finer shirt from that same period with blue and dark blue with the same pattern with the little dots as you can see if I hold it up close they're all little dots getting bigger and smaller and it creates this very cool shiny wave effect on the shirt the Vodafone sponsor is pretty cool there is a name and number on the back but that is fairly damaged we do have uh, Burak Yilmaz on the back number 27 as you can see there's like a big tear almost a bite out of the two um, further on the letters are in all right condition i would say um but yeah i think a pretty cool shirt Burak Yilmaz actually plays in the eredivisie right now he plays for fortuna siddhart where he's like a player but he's also kind of a manager i mean he has his say in the transfer policy of the club which i'm not sure is a very good thing to do um but yeah very very cool shirt um Overall, it is a double XL, so I'll probably sell this one on. But uh, yeah, for once again, two euros, got it from the same lady that was selling the previous Besiktas shirt. Um, so yeah, once again, I think for two euros, couldn't miss. On to the final shirt I'll show you guys today. And usually people call me the DJ Khaled of Besiktas shirts because I got another, another one. one. Yes, it's actually the same shirt. This time in a large, as you can see, very, very cool. Once again, the third shirt. I won't give you any other information other than that there is no name or number on the back with the same shiny pattern. This uh, shirt is actually in a bit better condition than the previous one, so I'll definitely keep this one for my collection. Uh, the three shirts were all authentic, by the way. Uh, I paid two euros for this one as well. I mean, oh, I mean, the deals I got uh, in this video, but also in the previous football shirt hunting in Utrecht were amazing. I mean, these are really like the best days to be a football shirt hunter in the Netherlands. Um, to give you guys a bit of context, every year we celebrate our king's birthday and we do that by like holding massive flea markets where everyone just gathers all their, well, junk uh, <laughs> and sells it for like very small prices. And uh, a lot of people actually sell their football shirts there for very cheap as well. I have seen one man sell a Tottenham training shirt uh, and the drill top combined for like 25, which means they were uh, like 12.50. 
uh, a piece and I think that was quite expensive but then again he did understand the value of that item uh, but a lot of people just you know throw them away for a couple of euros and that is when I swoop in and grab myself a deal um, so yeah for basically um, I think less than 20 euros so just imagine less than 20 euros I got myself a complete tracksuit and four football shirts that's why he's the goat the goat <laughs> And that will conclude this video for today. If you like this video, leave a like. Let me know what you think of my purchases in the comments. And feel free to subscribe. It is completely free and it will help me out a ton in my mission to reach 600 subscribers. And maybe, maybe even if I'm lucky enough, a thousand. Um, so yeah, if you want to be a part of that and if you want my content in your sub box, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification so you will be notified whenever I upload a video. Having said that, thank you for watching. I will be recording a new football shirt hunting in Gent and in Brugge next week. So make sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification. Those will be uploaded, I think, one week after this video comes online. So having said that, I wish you guys a wonderful day and hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.